Hi, my name is Adriana Salerno and I'm the visiting mathematician here at the Mathematical Association of America where we organize the American Mathematics competitions. On November 15th, we had the AMC8 which was taken by middle schoolers across the country and even if you didn't take the exam, you can watch this video to see how to start one of the more challenging problems in the AMC8. Today we're going to help you get started with problem 22 from the AMC8. Hope you're ready! First, let's read the problem. Rectangle AFED below is a 3 by 4 rectangle with AB equal BC equal CD equals 1. This is a geometry problem, so we also have to stare at the picture to understand. So we have this rectangle, which is 3 by 4, this side is length 3, and this side is length 4 on the, the this side. And um, we also know that the distances between the points A, B, C, and D are all 1. And using that information, and only that information in this picture, we want to know what the area of the bat wings, that is, the shaded area, we want to know what that area is. So like I said, here we're only helping you get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight a couple of things. There are a few triangles whose area it is easy to find. For example, this one that I'm highlighting in red is a right triangle. And we know the base and the height, and so we can figure out this area right here. Okay, the red area. We also know how to find the area of this big triangle for the same reason. I'm going to shade that in blue. And so the red triangle, we can find the area. And so let's say this area is, and you can do that. And then the blue triangle area is, and you can answer that question. And so all we would need really is to know what the area of this little triangle here is. And so let's call that squiggly triangle. And then you can put all that together to get the area of the fully black triangle. And once you know that, you have two of them and so you're done. So the tricky part is understanding the area of this little triangle. But now I'm going to give you, this is the real hint right here. I'm going to draw, because you know that you need base times height over 2 to get the area of any triangle. And so um, we can get the area of the red triangle, of the blue triangle, and now it's not so easy to see the area of the squiggly line triangle. We know the base, but we don't know the height. So. Let's sort of erase everything I drew and look at this again. Now let's look at the triangle that we're interested in. It's this triangle inside. I'm going to now shade it um, in red. So don't get confused. This is a new triangle that I'm shading red. But let's look at this half of the triangle that I'm interested in. Notice that this little triangle is a similar triangle to this big one because it fits right inside. And so that's the last bit of the hint. And this is a common thing in geometry problems is use similar triangles. 
Okay, so good luck with this problem. I think you have it.